Welcome to Day 5 of National Moth Week 2020. Uh, on my last video, I talked about lights, both the uh, uh, ultraviolet lights and the um, mercury vapor lights. I want to talk about compact fluorescent lights and show you a little bit something about the hamper tra uh, traps and also the use of egg cartons. So let's do that right now. This is a typical setup that I have here in the backyard for catching moths. Uh, I have a, a, one of the hamper traps right here, and inside I've just inserted an egg tray. An egg tray you can pick up at any good breakfast cafe. Just talk with the cook. They throw these out or recycle them. Uh, and they last a long time, years and years, if you don't get them wet. I have uh, not only this arrangement here, but I've got a white cloth here. And I have also, um, what's that in the house? Uh, egg trays on the side here and they're at a slant because some moths like darts and stuff like to hide in the dark okay uh, in the low lumen range of your light and uh, underneath the eaves uh, of the boards here so anyway so what you do is you change out your incandescent bulb and put in uh, a CFL compact fluorescent black light uh, the 60 watt works fine I get a lot of moths with this light these are hard to find now but look for them if you can this is one kind of hamper trap I'm going to take this down right now and show you how you can put up a, a larger volume hamper trap by just um, uh, hanging it from your porch light like this okay and you can see how the the um, egg trays are layered in there and I'll spin it so you can see so that there are places here of dark and light uh, and uh, you'll find in the morning that the moths will be in the egg trays both on the underside and the upper side of these trays and you can easily take it down okay and uh, move it around uh, there's another kind of egg tray that will work not an egg tray but a hamper trap and that's uh, this one here and this is the dog funnel that I talked about uh, a couple of videos back that just fits on top. And the idea, of course, is that moths can get in and have difficulty getting out, uh, which is a little bit different arrangement than the other two hamper traps. Okay, um, let's move over here to this side. I want to show you what else I run. Uh, this is an old tripod. Uh, for photographic equipment that I picked up for five or ten dollars in a second-hand store. This is a uh, plastic bucket from a garden shop, like at a Lowe's or Home of Economy or Home Depot sort of thing. And this is uh, a funnel to protect uh, your bird feeder from squirrels. Uh, but if inverted, it makes a lovely funnel. It's expensive. They sell for twenty or thirty bucks, but they last forever okay if you bring come in close yeah, I want to show you how I stack up these divided egg cartons cut the egg cartons or egg trays in half and I layer them in here just like this can you get in here and see how they're kind of pointed down there okay so around the sides and now if you back off a little bit I'm going to put the funnel right here and notice how well it fits no attachments necessary, no screws, no bolts. And then what I can do is I can hang my defanged bug zapper from the tripod like this. Plug it in. And uh, the idea is that the moths are attracted to the light. Uh, and as they spin around and spin around, some of them will fall through a slide into the trap uh, through this little hole down here. And, uh, and then they'll be calmed by the darkness, okay, and find places to stay. And in the morning, what I do is I just uh, remove this, turn off the light, and then I just lift up the funnel, and then I can examine the trays like this to see what kinds of moths I have. Okay, that's it for your backyard biology lesson for today, day five of uh, National Moth Week.